I attempted to master Mirage in under 48 hours. The problem is that I'm a complete noob at this legend and have no clue how to use his abilities. Before doing anything else, I started where any person would these days, YouTube. As I was scrolling through dozens of videos, a thought entered my head. I know the number one Mirage personally, so why wouldn't I just ask him for tips? So. That's exactly what I did. Abusing R2 has over 250,000 kills on Mirage, and we figured he could watch me play three games to correctly assess my skills at the beginning of this challenge. All right, here we go. Give or take three games. Let's see if I can get any kills. Does that go down? Uh, yeah. Wrong? Gotta jump off here. So two things yeah, I want to touch it. on. Give me it, please. All right, two things I want to touch on. With sending your decoys out, I always look past whatever I'm trying to, like, you know, aim for. Like, say I wanted my decoy to shoot down that tunnel, I would look yeah. past it or look above it. Okay, so, so it doesn't the keep running? Continuously. No, it would keep running. It'd keep running. It wouldn't but in, stop. But like in that, that situation, it's because I didn't send it down. Right. Okay. Oh, no. Book. That that uh, ult was not it though. I could tell no. that was not uh, the move with that. I mean, you get it every you get every minute. Like, but I, yeah. I threw that decoy straight and then I ran right into it. It's nice to do the ulti in the building, anyways, because it just makes a lot of noise. It was just unfortunate, like that you got stuck there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to focus on kind of sending it in a different direction the next time. Yeah, you want to send it in a direction like a like a player would actually yeah. push. You know what I mean? Yep. So you would get free back shots. What? What the? It's always about like a magician. You know what I mean? Like it's all sleight of hand. This is gonna be good. You're facing two of the counters. Going to pop my ult here, most likely. Oh, they still got it. Jesus. That Valk was so lost. I know. <laughs> Like, what I would have done there, low-key, since I knew the Valk was fried, I would have ulted forward. Gotcha. Ooh, he is feeling that one. Bruh. Oh, sh**. Oh, no. Yeah, this is bad. All right, let me know. Honestly, I feel like you're, you're playing a little bit too passive. Trying to stay alive too much. Yeah, trying to stay alive too much. Just send her. I'll, I'll loosen a bit. I'll loosen up the, the coils a bit here. I was in the same line of sight as that one. Mm -hmm. You can always pull out and go loot the respawn beacon if you need to. I'm not being a pussy this time. I like this. That's my dog. Bang on your chest. But like, yeah, so when it comes to playing like Mirage too, like, just gotta be aggressive. Like, use it, use his ultimate, like I said earlier, like a, a Kroger's Wraith. Good try. Right there, I would have ulted sooner, as soon as I saw them. Just ult immediately to get the shots yeah. on the first guy. Mm -hmm. And then the second guy is just like, you has know, paying attention to, yeah, has to guess or just waits for the shots. Like some people, it's like 50, 50, you know, sometimes they wait for the shots. Sometimes they shoot three d decoys. When you swing on someone, just barrel stuff. It's usually like a free knock. Beautiful. I told you. I told you this is not it. 
No, I did it. I did it. I didn't. Oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about it. What did you do? Wait. <clears throat> no. It was pretty clear to both of us after these games that I had a lot to improve on. Now, before we left, we needed some solid Mirage tips from abusing to keep in mind throughout our journey. Let's start off this journey. I need to know five crucial tips. I'm going to take note. And I'm going to try to implement them into my journey of mastering Mirage in 48 hours. What do you got for me? Most important tip for sure, 100%, is breaking LOS line of sight when you use your ulti. So many people just do it in the open when they have like full visual of you and like the real mirage has that like holographic effect you know what i mean so like breaking the los is just huge another thing too is just using your decoys to make sound for example you're in a 1v2 scenario it's in a building the best example would be like a streamer building in capital you would put a decoy on like the floor below you or above you and you'd be on the floor making noise you'd control it so it'd give off more audio so sometimes like they'll split up thinking it's like two people you know what i mean they have to 50 50 guess which one's the real mirage and mm -hmm. if you split them up you can get a fair one instead of getting team shot and then uh number three would be using your decoys to find out where people are at like you throw throw your decoys in the thermites you know you see a grenade toss your decoy into the grenade catalyst traps watson fences you used to do that it with uh revenant like revenant balls and mm -hmm. uh caustic uh gas as well but uh for some reason after the the season five rework you weren't able to do that anymore which i do not like when you do that it'll tell you the exact location of the enemy yeah 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 no matter how far they are okay so like if you're trying to hunt somebody down and you know they escape or even if you pull up to like a new poi and you're trying to find out which way they went mm -hmm. you can just throw it in there of course it alerts them too but at least you know what direction they ran so you can just head that way yep the thing about controlling the decoy too is like sometimes it's like a extra button press you don't have to do especially the people on roller you have to hit down on the d-pad and sometimes you end up emoting that's just like one of the bugs with it so you just got to be wary on like how and when you control the decoy because you don't obviously have to control the decoy every single time sometimes the decoy blocks you like you just see this red or not red uh, yellow outline of yourself and you just miss shots because you can't see what's shooting you okay what about the ultimate the ultimate uh i kind of use the ultimate like a wraith phase like a, a kroger's wraith phase sometimes um you know like some wraiths phase forward mm -hmm. phase out don't be afraid to use it like it's up every minute with gold helmet it's up every like what 50 seconds or something like that go crazy with it like there's some times where if the fight lasts long enough i use it like two or three times in the fight try mm -hmm. to get separate ones You're using it aggressively and passively yes 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 okay. yes it, it's better to do it aggressively obviously and when you do use your ultimate you want to use your decoy as well and control the decoy so like you'd ulti first then shoot your decoy then control the decoy and then proceed on whatever you're going to do unless you're just full-on trying to escape don't even bother controlling the decoy what's really good about mirage that people don't know is with the seer alt all the decoys show up on the seer alt so many people shoot decoys because they see you know all the footsteps in the seer alt mm -hmm. The thing about Mirage, though, is Bloodhound really counters Mirage. Uh, if the scan goes out before you ulti, right, there's going to be a red diamond on you so he can find out which one's the right one. If you do it before he scans, the red diamond won't show up. Now that we have a ton of helpful tips from the number one Mirage in all of Apex Legends, it's time to begin. I figured duos would be a great place to start since I'm new to the character and just getting back into the game in general. Let's just say it didn't go exactly as I planned. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. That's awful. I don't want to talk about that at all. I'm leaving. Nice. Damn it. Wow, there's no way. Oh, I way overcommitted right there. 
I sold that. I should not have pushed up like that. If I was going to use my ult right there, it had to be going after one of the two guys. I kind of just use it in the middle of them. So let's try to adjust that as time goes on as well. No way you break that. Ah. Mm. They pushed at the same time. I think I honestly would have killed this guy. He's down there. Through the door! Oh my god. Yo, there's so much happening. This guy might be able to kill him. Get this son of a gun. You're way better than him. That dude shot me through the door. We gonna talk about that or not? Through the door! After all these deaths, it was only a matter of time before I started realizing my mistakes. I look back at the tips I had written down from abusing and desperately try to implement them into my game going forward. Which one am I, buddy? Which one am I, buddy? Which one am I, buddy? <laughs> thing is, I know which one you are, buddy. But you don't know which one I am. <laughs> I can already tell the more that I play him, the more fun this is going to get over time. Watch out, baby. We're using the ult today. Ugh, dude. All right, brother gonna say i can totally see this guy you bet your bottom dollar we're popping ult right here all righty brother i didn't even know what just happened right there that was unbelievable just shot every decoy in existence Ripped. Shots. Oh, we're pushing, bro. Can't even hit my boy over here. Stupid. Oh. What a goofer. Do that. Do where the Kraber gets hit. Doesn't know which one's us. Oh, I should have had my Prowler. What am I doing? Bro, what? What was that? Like, what was that situation? I don't even understand that. As each game went by, we were slowly gaining more and more confidence. And let me tell you right now, that is a scary sight to see if you are the enemies. Of course, there's mad people here. And you're going to go to the same bin as me. I'll, I'll take that alternate here, though, buddy. Sorry. I'll come up here. What? You want some? Oh, I don't want any, bro. Oh my god. There's no way. This guy's gonna kill me. Ah, you killed him. <laughs> oh. That was like the saddest moment of my life right there when I couldn't get onto that. Swap. I don't know why he just broke that down like that. What a little psycho. Smoking dope, Turby 2, a superhero. What the? F Not the real person, buddy. Really, dude. Alright, see if you can find the real one. You yeah, can't. He's on HP, bro. Thank you. Nobody can ever decipher the real one off jump. Like, if he shot me immediately, 
easily dead right there. <sighs> no. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Sorry, bud. What the hell is going on right now? The big boozle! The big boozle! <laughs> got 11 kills. This is a possible 20. I'm coming, bro. Don't die yet. Oh, he's one. Bro, you got this 20. Fifteen or you could I just got into Apex where you could make me better, bruh. Uh no, but I know a guy who can. A guy that posts tips on YouTube like myself. You do? I do. Wait, what's your YouTube? It's uh Sweatband TV. Shameless plug. How much people do you have that's following you? Two hundred thirty two thousand. Say on God, bruh. On God, bro. Are you streaming right now or something? No, but I am recording. So this will for sure be in a video. Wait, yo. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my friend, cause he plays Apex, he's trying to make me better, but yeah, it's not really working that good. It's all about time. I will keep think I know you off of TikTok a little bit though. I do have a TikTok, it's pretty small though. 25,000 followers on there. Hey, 25,000 people is a lot to me, man. Yeah, it's a start, it's a start. I feel like since I got on PC, I've run into more charge rifle people. That's what you get when you go against some mouse and key players. This guy's hit for 70. Down one. GG's, bro. Well done. Thanks for carrying me, man. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, it was a team effort. I mean, I did get three kills. There you go. All right, brother. Have a great day. You too, man. Thanks. What a great guy. What an honestly, like, nice guy to be around jeez love to hear stuff like that love to play in lobbies like that at this point in time the clock was almost up it had almost been 48 hours and listen we got a lot better with mirage during this period of time do i think we absolutely mastered him no it's going to take more than 48 hours to do this listen i'm comparing myself to a guy over here with 250,000 kills that's mentoring me we're not going to get to that level in 48 hours but we did give it a solid effort if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll catch you in the next one peace out